Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer and welcome to Free Game Friday. Today we are taking a look at Hopslide, which won third place in the Ludom Dare game competition. I almost said jam, but it's from the competition side. Honestly, I think this game should have ranked higher. I find this to be the most brilliant of the games. But if anyone doesn't know what Ludom Dare is, it is a... I believe it's quarterly or maybe... Maybe twice a year. It's either four times or, th or th two times a year competition where developers make games in a very short period of time based around a theme. This one's theme was Connected Worlds. Upslide is by far the most interesting, I would say, of the Ludom Dari 30 games I've played, and I kind of think it should have won, in my opinion. Super Dimensional, which I did a video of not long ago, was the winner, and it was great in its own right. I did, uh, in my video, call it interdimensional through the entire video because I'm a goddamn idiot, apparently. But, I don't know, Hopslide, it is, it is something. Hopslide is two games, two executables you run at the same time. One is a, a platformer, a little platformer, and the other one is a block sliding puzzle. And I will quote the little Dom Dare page, they are definitely not connected at all. One is just a little platformer, one is just a little sli no, they are connected. I am in the blue world right now, which, means on the slide side of the game, I'm in the blue block. Now I'll go ahead and show you uh, a little bit to point that out here. We'll go down clear to the bottom, not the bottom part I wanted to be on. I don't know what that black hole is about. Let's see if I can get over here. This does have keyboard controls and 360 controller support. I am playing with the 360 controller because this game does something I hate in platformers where W is the jump key rather than space. Cannot stand that. So I'm playing it with a 360 controller so I have a real jump button. Let's go down here. You see how that blue block has an arrow down which means there's a path down? There's nothing there right now. But let, let's try sliding it up. I, I actually haven't tried what happens if you go down into the, the blank ether here. Nothing. Okay, still no connections there. So we'll jump back over here, which I'm swapping between 360 controller and mouse to control that. Let's go back up towards the top here. Come on, get the jump going. There we go. So the point of the game is to c collect six, I believe, colored letters, which spell out something. I don't know what they spell out yet because I haven't played them, but it is a big secret apparently. Not the way I want to go. Go this way. And collecting the colored letters will uh, kind of correspond to the color of the area you're in. There are, let's see here, what colored letters are there? There is blue, green, yellow, white, and red. Now you might notice there's also purple, purple, which there is no purple except for the void area. So apparently there is some way to get into the void area, I would guess. Now see, I can't go anywhere here. Let's come over here to slide. And now we can move and you can move the blocks wherever you want even when you're inside of them this game takes a lot of out-of-the-box thinking and I have heard it's quite difficult like, I don't know what's going on what's going on here there's more interactions between the hop and slide than just see what does that mean Let's... Mmm... Not sure what's going on here. But it looks like if I have blue in the upper right, then maybe that block will appear? Let's try to do that here. There are hints on the Ludom... Yep, there we go. On the Ludom Dare page. And... You had to kind of do a translate thing to translate them. I will probably need those hints, I'll be honest. Aha, there we go! Oh, that's so clever. So clever in so many ways. Not just moving between them, but there's more interactions than just that. I love that. Let's see. We need blue in the middle. Uh, how do 
I get blue in the middle. Maybe. I need to get these up here. This down here. Slide that there, there, and there we go. It feels so good when you figure these out. It really does. I would hate to fall right now. That'd be kind of terrible. Okay, we have some more of these puzzles here. Right there. Yep, there we go. Now on this one, I need to get the gray one in the right spot without moving the red one. Can't do that. I'm gonna jump back to somewhere safe so I don't get dropped on my ass. Yep, there goes that block. Okay, let's get the gray right there. Mm. Need you here. And you there. There we go. I am smart. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so I need the gray to stay in this place. Otherwise, I will be unhappy. Uh. Okay, I need gray to stay. I don't need red to stay. I do need red to get up there. Oh god, my head hurts. Hey, what do I do? Get, we need to get red up there. I can't move gray. I wish I could flip you, red. Or yellow. You're not red, you're, you're yellow. Oh boy. Uh, that doesn't help anything. I just need to switch these two around. How do I switch these two around? The blue one is big and unwieldy. If I move that, I'm hosed. Yep, there, I'm hosed. Wow, this game's so hard. Now, well, let's, let's stop goofing around and go Go check out red. Let's see what red looks like. Because clearly I'm not getting through that right now without some significant amount of thought and time and probably me the screen just being blank with no commentary as I try to puzzle this stuff out. I don't know what I don't know what those do. I also don't know what those holes do. Oh, this one's rather small. Can I go in you? Wow, there's so much to this game that is just the mystery of it, of how they interact, figuring it out. Let's let's go over into red. Let's stay in the red for right now. I don't really want to go back over to blue. Red can only go left and right. Which means I can only go into blue or into green. Okay, let's let's go check out blue. Oh, it's a different part of blue. One of the letters! I got one of the letters! Oh, that's what those holes are, are letters. You just have to get them in the right order. I got a letter! You know what, let's go back over to blue. Right, yeah, let's go back over to blue. But this part of blue, I can't get to the other parts of blue. So that's not too helpful. I don't, I still don't know what those are. Hmm. It's making my brain place hurt. Go back over to green. Uh, 
I kind of want to just go down in there. I'll hop back over into green. Might add the music's pretty good. It's kind of catchy. Not overly long. It's kind of it gets kind of repetitive after a while. Most of these Ludom Dari games are fairly short. But I will say that from what I've read, oh wow, bouncy thing. From what I have read that this game actually can take about an hour. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, that this is where you spell it all out. So, we it starts with a Y. But anyway, this game can actually run about an hour long to get through figure it all out. So, that is fairly long compared to most Ludom Dare games. Okay. Let's... I want to go into the gray. No, I want to go into the yellow. Yellow, how do I get you down here? Okay. There we go. Let's go check out yellow. I wonder if there's difficult things like the red, uh, huh. Now there is these shaded lined areas and th there's something to that, but I haven't figured it out yet. But let's, uh, what I really wanted to do is get into yellow so I could check out a little tiny gray because it's a very small little place. So, let's go see what's in the gray. Whoa. That's very, very gray. Whoa. Okay, so the floor is down anywhere you touch the... the there is no floor. Oh, I get it, I get it. Put it here now, where there is nothing down, and now there is a floor. Clever. I love it. The developer of this game is bloody brilliant, I just had to say that. Which happens to be, I really should credit him. Uh... I had it up, but it's gone. Daniel... Daniel Linson, aka Manigore, at Manigore on Twitter. You should tweet at this guy and tell him he's bloody brilliant. I jump? Oh, I can jump that high. There is a letter. I want the letter. Get the mouse cursor out of the way here a little bit. I don't know if that's even being recorded anyway, but still. You know, for gray being such a small block on the map, it's kind of big. I think that was a letter. Was that a letter? I don't know. Was it was gray H it looked like? Maybe. Let's go back down. Did anything change with these lines over here? Nope. I'm not, still not sure how to, uh, how to make that work. Let's go back into blue, see if that was a letter. And blue again. See, there's more of those kind of areas here. I'm not sure how that works. Was that, yep, it was there. Okay, it's an I. So it starts with a Y and second letter I. It's like playing Hangman now. Still quite a few letters to go, and quite a few of the puzzles and mysteries of this game left unsolved still. Like, what are the gray shaded out kind of areas? And I still can't get that. And also, what's with this thing below here? Purple. Well, the only thing that could possibly touch the bottom is yellow. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that's about enough. Don't want to spoil it all for you. Let you guys figure out some of this on your own. Plus, you know, the more I play, the more I show that I'm a freaking idiot when it comes to puzzle games. But this game is freaking brilliant. Manigore, you... You. You're good. This, this game... The concept blows my mind. It's visually simple. Definitely visually simple. Which is, you know pretty common in game jam games 
but the concept behind this and just the execution of it is very well done and in my opinion probably should have won Ludomdar A30 but you know it's a voting system people liked super dimensional I liked super dimensional it definitely had more of a interesting and standout uh, aesthetic style to it than this that is a very good concept execution and gameplay but definitely lacks in an aesthetic it's very simple aesthetically but I highly recommend checking it out the link to the Ludom Dare 30 page for this game will be in the description if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time